Sam, how far apart are the cups? Two feet. How did you know it was two feet? What did you use? Did you use that thing in your hands? Yes. How many of those did you measure out? Can you show me to make two feet? Can you show me how you did it? Put it down on the table. And show me how you measured two feet. Two feet. Mm -hmm. Okay, now do it again because it wasn't quite perfect. There's one foot. Mark it with your finger. Now move the ruler. It's a little winky wonky. Uh, it's really two feet. <laughs> your measuring is suspicious. So Sam, do you think you'll be able to get the water from one cup to the other cup just with the strings? No. No. Do you have any ideas how you might do it? With, with the tape. With tape? How's tape going to help? Oh, wait, no tape. No tape. It's just the strings. How could the string help you get the water from one cup to the other cup? You pull it up. What do you pull up? The string. Do you, and where will the string be? In the cup with no water or the cup with water? The cup with water. Okay. And how is it going to get to the cup with no water? You pull it up in the string and then you pull it to the other cup with water. Okay. So Sam, if you put the water in one, the string in the cup with the water, and then the string in the cup with no water, no. will it move from that cup to the other cup? What's your prediction? Got it. Okay, don't pull it apart. Our, our string is very thin, so I doubled it up. So is that in the cup, Sam? Is that going to get water in the cup, or is the string outside the cup? Huh? Your string, is it inside the cup or outside the cup? Outside. Is that where you want the water to go? Oh, no. I don't think Sam, do you want the water to go outside the cup or inside the cup? Inside the cup. So what are you going to have to do? Oh. Now, are your strings inside the cup or outside the cup? Outside. And How will the water get inside the cup if the strings are outside the cups? We don't we pull it. Uh -huh. I think we need to have a reality check. Do we'll you see back. water moving from the cup with the string to the cup, the cup with the string with the water to the cup with no water and the string? No. Have you touched the string that is in the cup with water? Is water moving along the string at all? Is the string wet at, at the top? Yes, no? No. No. Hmm. What do you think you could do to move the water from that cup to the empty cup? without the water touching the counter. Do you have any idea, Sam? Pulling it. What, are, what would you pull? The string. And how would the water move along the string if you're pulling the cup? It couldn't. And will your cups be two feet apart if you pull it? No. Oh, I guess we need to rethink our thinking. So Sam, have you thought of another way you could get the water to move along the string into the empty cup? Did you think of another way to do it? What could you do with the cup that has the string and the water in it? Dump it down on the string. So dump it down on the string. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if it works. Do it slowly. Ah, uh, oh, no. Okay, stop. We changed our water container. We noticed it was very difficult to pour water from the regular cup. It was extremely tr attracted to the outside of the cup and ran down the outside of the cup. We're going to try this measuring cup that has a lip and see if we can get the water to be more attracted to the string than to the glass. We, we discovered a couple glitches. The string is quite water resistant. It did not attract to the water at all. So we soak the string in water for a couple seconds and now we think we got this water going down the string at the tiniest trickle that you might not be able to see. Can you do it Sam? Slow and go. Tight with the string. There you go. Do you see any going down there Sam? Just tiny little trickles. Do you have the water even up there yet? Closer, <laughs> closer. Pull it kind of tight. I see it moving down there. Oh my goodness, it moves down there, but the, the way we tape the string, <laughs> a lot of the water's going outside of it, but we're doing it. 
So we, oh my gosh. Fantastic. We were able to get this much water into it, and it was kind of fast, but the water water went out Saturday, and it really didn't make that big mess. And we had paper towers on it, and it was really stretched. Did the paper towels like the water? No. Did the water go into the paper towels? Yes. That means it liked it. So if you put the water on the counter, Sam. I'm do it again. Sam, if you put the water on the counter, does it attract to the counter? Sam wants to do it again. He really enjoyed this. Oh my gosh. Ooh, oh, holy moly. So it looks like the speed at which you pour the, oh, you got, you had to bend the string. It looks like the speed at which you pour the water makes a difference. Hmm. Score. Did you um, get more this time? That's yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. So see it. That's awesome. I didn't know that would work. No, no, Dad. Can you? So now Sam is seeing how many drops from a dropper of water he can put on a penny. I can put 14. 14 and it hasn't spilled over yet? No, I can still put Okay, get more water in your pipette. And we're going to see if this water looks like a bubble, a cave. So Sam got 17 drops on his penny and what shape did it make? What kind of shape is that? Mm, like a, like a roof one says it's more like, like that. Okay. Now we're going to try something with this. So now Sam is using rubbing alcohol Seven. to see how many drops no, I have ten. he can get ten, onto the penny. 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. Now, what kind of shape does it make? Is it this this one the same? The same. Is it the same curvy? Is it flatter? Flatter. It's just like this. Okay. So Sam, the reason why the penny with the water has a curvy shape is the water is really attracted to itself, and it has lots of cohesive properties. And the alcohol has some water in it, so it's kind of attracted to itself, but it's also more attracted to the penny and the counter. So now we're putting a, as much water as we can on that penny. Do you need a, a little more refill? How about a little refill? And then we're going to see what happens if we put a drop of soap on there. Is it full? Yep. Okay, so now I want you to take your eyedropper. Okay, give me your eyedropper. No, Mom, it's not full. Okay. Okay, let's not, uh, we want to make sure that it's a soapy so we can. And I put one drop at a time on there and see what happens to the dome. What, did, what happened to the dome? Did the soap do anything to it? No. No. Kind of. It made it more... Like a, Did it break? Kind of. Okay. The soap usually interferes with uh, water's ability to attract to itself, and it usually makes the dome break so it's flat and spills. This. So, Sam, what were the results of your experiment? Were you able to move water from one cup to another via a string? Yes. Did it work really well, kind of well, or not so well? Kind of well. Did you manage to transfer all the water, or did you lose some? Why did the water go down the string? Because it has water. We got it more wet. Is water attracted to the string? Yes. Was water attracted to itself on the penny? Yes. It was. Did you like this experiment? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Super.